Oscar. My little boy, Hank is a beast. Oscar. Well, guys, a huge fight between Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis may have been too good to be true because Oscar De La Hoya just dropped a hint that he might not be ready to take the training wheels off of Ryan Garcia just yet. I'll read exactly to you what Oscar just said after the fight. But before I do, I just want to say, you know, I was really optimistic that this fight was going to come to fruition. It was going to be Ryan Garcia's next fight because Ryan wants it so badly. But then once I found out that Canelo Alvarez, he feels that Ryan is not ready for Tank. And then I found out that Ryan Garcia's own trainers, they don't feel he's ready for Tank. And now you have Oscar De La Hoya. You guys seen the clip that I played at the beginning. He actually said that three years ago. And now he's hinting that Ryan Garcia is still not ready today. Let me go ahead and go into this clip or read the quote of what Oscar De La Hoya said. Check it out. So Oscar, he says, we could see that possibly happen when we're ready, when Ryan is ready. And obviously Ryan is ready to face anybody. That's never a doubt, but it's going to be on our terms, on the terms of Ryan Garcia. When he's ready, when he wants to, every champion out there needs Ryan Garcia. It's not the other way around, end quote. Okay, so you guys probably noticed that Oscar De La Hoya, throughout that entire quote, he kept saying, when Ryan is ready, when Ryan is ready, when we're ready. And then he turns around and he says, well, he's ready for everybody. But when he's ready, I'm going to tell you guys what's going on right now. Oscar De La Hoya is in somewhat of a very dicey, awkward, uncomfortable spot because Deep down, he doesn't feel that Ryan Garcia is ready. And because of the history of him feuding with Ryan Garcia, he's now trying to patch things up and he's trying to find a way to say it to Ryan without pissing Ryan off. That's why we're getting this double talk, like when he's ready, when we're ready. But then he's ready for anybody and everybody right now. You guys have to understand, man, Oscar De La Hoya is an Olympic gold medalist. At one point, for a brief time, he was considered pound for pound the best fighter in the world. Oscar De La Hoya has been in the ring with the type of Demetrius Andrades, the type of Errol Spences. He's been in the ring with those type of guys, right? He's fought the best. Oscar knows when someone is ready or not. If 90% of the boxing world believes Ryan is not ready for Tank, then of course Oscar knows it. And that 90% includes Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Garcia's own trainer. But because a microphone and camera always get you in trouble, and Oscar De La Hoya has already went on camera and said that Ryan Garcia is not ready for Tank, he's a beast, he also went on camera about a year ago, and he said that Virgil Ortiz is the one that's the real deal, not Ryan Garcia. The fact that he said all of these things and then Canelo leaves Golden Boy, that means Oscar has to put more focus on the new batch of Golden Boy fighters, such as Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz. He has to make these guys happy no matter what even when it means double talking when you're trying to explain the situation. Ultimately, the decision is going to be up to Ryan Garcia. You guys remember, no one wanted Mikey Garcia to fight Errol Spence. Nobody, not even his own brother and trainer. His whole family didn't want him to fight Spence, but Mikey had his mind made up. That's what he wanted to do. This could be the same situation right here with Ryan. But I tell you this right now, if Ryan is not going to fight Tank next, it would make absolutely no sense for him not to fight Devin Haney when now he's been ordered to fight Devin Haney because he's Devin Haney's mandatory. These guys, they have a hell of a history. They fought, I believe, five times in the amateurs. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Ryan Garcia won three out of the five. But the way Ryan has been treating Devin Haney, he has a lot of respect for Devin and he knows that that is a very difficult fight to win as well because he knows Devin so well. But I'm gonna tell you guys, Ryan Garcia's team would really make Ryan look bad. 
if they even tell him he's not ready for Devin Haney, because when it comes to Devin Haney, Devin and Ryan, they're the exact same age. They have the same level of experience in the ring. So if they tell Ryan, you're not ready for that guy, they're just flat out saying, look, Devin is better than you. Let's go ahead and fight someone that you can actually beat because this Devin guy is better than you. That's exactly what they would be saying to Ryan Garcia. If they tell him, you're not ready to get in there with Devin either. Now, and I'm assuming that this would mean if they felt he wasn't ready for Devin and Tank, they would also feel that he's not ready for T.O. Fimo. But I don't know. I don't know. But we'll find out soon. Only thing we know for sure is Devin Haney. He's the only one in the bunch that wants everyone. The training wheels were taken off long time ago when it comes to Devin Haney. And then you have Vasil Lomachenko, which would be a huge mistake for Ryan Garcia to get in there with Lomachenko. Even though Lomachenko doesn't usually do well against fighters with reach and height, but the thing is Ryan Garcia doesn't have the type of defense that even a Luke Campbell has. So that would be a mistake for him to get in there with Lomachenko. You know, Devin Haney was asked, who is the weakest link at 135? This is before Ryan Garcia, you know, just got knocked down by Luke Campbell. Devin Haney, he said, it's Ryan Garcia. So I'm telling you guys right now, if Ryan Garcia's team feels that Ryan Garcia is not ready for any of these guys on this list, then they're calling their own fighter the weakest link as well. You guys have to understand something. It would be different if Ryan Garcia was, let's say, avoiding Devin Haney because he has his long history with Devin. You know, he knows how good Devin is, but instead he wants to fight Tank Davis, which was Ryan Garcia's original plan. If he were to do something like that, you can't criticize him for that because he's still fighting one of the best in the division. Now, and I'm not saying you're supposed to be one and done. The point that I'm making is there's a difference if you're avoiding just one fighter in particular, but you're fighting all of the other best guys in the division. Because fighting everyone else in that division at the top will at least buy you time before you're forced to fight that one guy you don't want to fight. You know, when Errol Spence came off of his car accident, everyone was pushing him to take a tune up. They felt Danny Garcia was too dangerous of an opponent to fight for your first fight back. And Errol Spence, you know what he said? He said, no, I don't want to take any tune-ups. He said, I need to fight someone like Danny Garcia because if I fight a C-level or a D-level fighter, then I'll never know if I'm 100%. So if Ryan Garcia decides to go to Canelo route and he starts looking for European fighters to beat up on, you know, he starts fighting some Rocky Fielding, some Caleb Smiths, some Abney Yildirim type of opponents. How are those fights going to prepare him for the Shakur Stevensons, the Lomachenkos, the Devin Haney's, the Teofimo Lopez's, and of course, Tank Davis? It's not. That would only delay the inevitable. Ryan Garcia has already took a huge step forward beating Luke Campbell. There's no reason for him to take two steps back. The only way you're going to get better is with better competition. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now, in the world that we live in today, one of the most important things in life to have is a good lawyer. And I can vouch for this one right here because this brother is my personal lawyer. So if you need any type of legal representation, if you need legal advice, if you're having problems on YouTube, on your regular job, or whatever it is, contact lawyer, mediator, and business consultant, Issa Israel's law firm. I've been knowing this man for a while and he has been a true blessing to me. I'm telling you, he's affordable. He will work with you 
but most importantly, he's not gonna just treat you like a customer. He will have your best interest. So to get in contact with him, go to iilawfirm.com or consultsglobal.com.